What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Terrier Owner YouTube channel. We're happy to have you back here today guys for this week's video. And this week's video guys is going to be more catered towards those of you who just adopted a Jack Russell. So you're already home, already went through the adoption, you've got your new puppy at home, and you're just beginning your journey. This is also a topic guys that a lot of people probably aren't super familiar with. So we're kind of excited to share the information with you. Today we are going to talk about fear cycles or fear stages that occur in puppies or Jack Russells specifically. So we'll work on explaining what your Jack Russell will go through as a puppy when it comes to fear stages. Fear stages are a real thing, so it is important to cover, and that is what is coming up next. But before we jump into that, guys, it would be great if you could give us a thumbs up on the video. We appreciate it greatly, and it helps us get seen by other individuals with this dog breed. But let's go ahead and kick it off, guys. Let's talk about what a fear cycle is. All right, guys, so fear cycles. Most people probably don't even know that dogs have these cycles. And and a lot of people would probably just classify this as part of socialization. It's part of the figuring out the world around them. It's how they get to know your family, your household, their environment. And that's true. It is all part of it, but it can be classified as what's known as a fear cycle. And, and a fear cycle is essentially a period or up to four periods where your dog or your Jack Russell is going to be adjusting. They're going to be adjusting to the environment. They're going to be adjusting to a certain stage in their life. And with most dogs, guys, you're going to have at least one of these fear cycles. Sometimes you're going to have up to four of them all the way up until almost two years of age. And I think a lot of you, probably if you just recently adopted your Jack Russell, you might be in fear cycle number one. And what I mean by that is the first fear cycle is basically right when you get home. It's when your Jack Russell has been separated from their mother. It's whenever they're separated from any siblings that they were born with. And it's when they're trying to get used to being in your household and they're trying to get used to you. During the first fear cycle, guys, you're usually going to have your Jack Russell acting a little skittish. They're also going to sleep a lot because they're a puppy. Puppies tend to just kind of curl up on your lap and not do a whole lot. Um, but that is essentially the first fear cycle. It's part of their socialization. They're just warming up to you. They're warming up to the house and they're warming up to the environment. During a fear cycle like this, guys, it's best to just make them comfortable and let them get to know you and get to know the environment as best they can. If you have kids in the house, it's good to start that socialization process right away because the other fear cycles that come later can be either eliminated or greatly reduced when it comes to how skittish they are, when it comes to behaviors like barking or retreating during certain situations or a loud noise in the house. You know, if you have several young kids who are rambunctious and running around, a fear cycle later, you know, months 9 to 12 or months 14 to 18, they can still be skittish or even at times get aggressive because they're scared. That's why it's called a fear cycle, is a dog like a Jack Russell who gets scared could go into a mode where they want to defend themselves. So the better you can do a socialization during that first fear cycle, the more comfortable you can get them by letting them be around the kids, the family, let them get used to noises, get the crate training going so they can get that separation anxiety part of a fear cycle out of the way, the better off the dog's going to be. And what I mean by that is they're going to be more well adjusted. They're not going to be skittish over the natural noises of your household. They're going to get used to how the house operates, so to speak. So it is good to Live your life as normal as possible during these fear cycles and do it right away when you get home with your Jack Russell so they can start getting used to how life is going to be for the next 15 or 20 years. If you are going to run into secondary fear cycles, the second one is typically going to be when they're around six months old. This is going to be whenever, you know, they're exiting that really early puppyhood phase. They're starting to grow a little bit and fill out their bodies. And now you're exposing them to more social situations. So this could be a fear cycle that entails things like being socialized to other dogs. I'm not talking about if you have a dog in the house already like I did because that would obviously start immediately. So whenever she got home, she got socialized with Graham during what would be fear cycle number one when she's a puppy and just getting home. However, if you don't have other dogs, the second fear cycle is essentially new social situations. We, that's what we should call these cycles. And during that six to 14 month age range, that might be whenever you're going on more walks and they're getting more exercise, which is a brand new social situation for them. So they might be skittish on 
on a walk or a car is a really good example. They might be really intimidated by cars that are flying down the road. This is just another example of when you need to continue doing the things that you do on a daily basis so that they can get used to it. A dog is very programmed that if they get comfortable, they see that you're comfortable and have patience in situations, they're going to be comfortable as well. So if you are going to have to encounter that second fear cycle, just keep doing what you do and they will get used to it and you'll exit that stage pretty quickly. The next cycle guys, it would technically be considered the third cycle, but it's typically going to happen the most when you're Jack Russell, um, especially for a female one, goes into heat for the first time. So they're, it's an, again, it's going to be new to them. If they're outdoors a lot, they could encounter the, you know, that prey drive side of their behavior to where they're wanting to chase animals and really just explore the world in a different way. This is also probably whenever they're going to be the most prone to want to find ways out of the yard. May not seem like a fear cycle at this point. It's more of a exploratory cycle to where they want to um, do things they haven't done. A lot of these cycles are situations where the dog is just going to behave a little bit differently because they're going through something new or they're being exposed to a new situation. Again, whenever you enter this stage, you're going to do the same thing minus you need to proof the yard a little bit better, but you got to just stick to your routines, keep up with training. And during any of these cycles, if they do act a little bit differently, let's say they're, you know, barking more or they're, you know, they could even, when they're a puppy, you might deal with a, the skittishness. Like if somebody new to them wants to pick them up and hold them, they could urinate themselves a little bit, things like that. You just need to be patient with the dog. You need to be kind to the dog, respect the dog and work through those cycles so that you can ultimately have a well-balanced, socialized dog that is okay in a lot of situations. At the end of the day, guys, a fear cycle, I mean, it, it's either going to be very apparent that they're in one or you're not even going to notice it. So it's not a huge deal with a new dog. It's not something you have to stress out over. It's more of a video that's meant to just make sure that you're patient with this dog while they're going through changes. You understand that they will reach times when they are very young, where they're just a little more reserved, a little more skittish, or have a behavior that you may not want to see, but it's natural for it to occur. Of course, guys, as always, we always encourage you to drop your comments below so we can find out, you know, what your dog did during any of these cycles or stages, see any other insight that you could add to this video to help anybody else raising this dog. And of course, never forget to check out terrierowner.com for all of the related information about this topic or other topics. A lot of useful information on that website. Be sure to check that out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give us that thumbs up if you haven't already and hit that notification button so you are notified for all the future videos. Outside of that, guys, we got the holidays coming up, so we wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas. We will still have videos coming every week, so we look forward to seeing you guys back on those, and we will catch you in the next one. Take care.